Well, first of all, we have to recognise that, thankfully, the internet is a global phenomenon. And actually, one of the things that the European Commission wants to do is to ensure that it remains a global phenomenon, that it is open to all, and that there are no frontiers. So in that context, we shouldn't be afraid of global platforms, people providing services on a global level. The problem has been that given that the internet grew organically from bottom up, there were very few rules having some checks on the power that an individual or group of companies could develop as they developed global platforms. Many of them very good and positive in terms of providing services and allowing people to really harness the full benefit of the internet. So we do have, though, more and more concentration of power, particularly in terms of data. And that, as a result, can give a very strong vertical power to some platforms. And we really have to moderate against that. We have to see other ways of ensuring that they share the data. But certainly, for the first step, they have to make sure that their users, the end user, the citizen, is aware of how their data is being used and consents to that. And also, is there some way that perhaps that user might want to monetize their data? We can also look where necessary and as a last resort at regulation, just as we've done in the European Union for some of the potential risks with regard to illegal content, where of course the platforms are not responsible for originating that content, but some very objectionable illegal content is posted on their platforms and we have to put the responsibility on them to take it down. So there's a very different type of actions that we can take, um, but it does in the first instance require cooperation, dialogue and a sense of responsibility by all actors in the internet ecosystem.